Hi everyone! So today I just wanted to make a video to talk to you about something that I discovered fairly recently and that's called minimalism. So some of you may have heard of this before, some of you might never have heard of it. Um, just to give you a wee bit of a background into me, um, I work in the healthcare profession and I've been doing that for about six and a half years now. But there's something that has always been more of a passion of mine, and that is creating art. But while working in a full-time job, I felt like I didn't really have the time that I would like to create my art. So I've been working, and then on the side I would kind of do a wee bit of art, try and make a wee bit of money out of it. But I didn't really feel like I had as much time for it as I would like, because you know, life gets in the way, you end up doing a lot of housework and those kind of things. So um, I didn't really feel like I was ever going to get anywhere with it. And then last year, I was lucky enough that I got picked to go to this place. Um, it's called the Imaginism Studios In-House Workshop. Um, and that's a 30 day workshop, which my group went to Toronto, Canada. We were actually the last group that got picked to go to Toronto and then after our group it got moved to Montreal and the idea is that four artists from around the world get picked at any one time to go and live in this house and you live with Thierry Lafontaine who is one of the senior artists at Imaginism Studios and the four artists plus Thierry um, you just live in this house for 30 days and he teaches you all about how to make your art better. And it was an amazing experience and because we were the last group to go to the house in Toronto, we were really lucky we got to spend a lot of time with the other artists from Imaginism Studios and hang out with them and uh, it was just a fantastic experience really. So I think there is actually um, a video on YouTube where you can see my group and the group that was before us talking about our experiences of being in the house, so I'll try and put a link to that below. So anyway, um, obviously with me going from the UK, where I am, over to Canada for a month, I couldn't take a lot of stuff with me. So I had to live out of one suitcase for the whole month. Now I took a fairly large suitcase, um, I'm about 5 foot 4 and the suitcase went up to about my hip height. So, you know, it was still a decent amount of stuff but I would find that I only had to do my laundry once a week which for me was just amazing because at home, you know, when I'm at work doing my day job then I'm working 12 and a half hour shifts and then on my days off I feel like I'm constantly doing laundry. It's just an absolutely endless cycle. You're always either washing stuff or folding stuff or ironing stuff. It's just never done. Um, so it was absolutely amazing for me to just once a week all the laundry gets done and that's it, all your clothes are clean again. And we also, when we were in the house, we had to be quite disciplined about keeping the place quite clean. Because you're in somebody else's house, so you don't want to be messing it up, and T, he would expect us to keep the place clean. So every day when I would get up, I would make my bed, not that it was ever asked of me, but I would just do it. And um, every night after we had finished our dinner, we were expected to clean up the kitchen and clean up the dining room, put all our dishes away in the dishwasher, make sure it was switched on, make sure that everything was kind of wiped down. So when I came home from Canada, I was thinking, well, maybe I'd kind of like to live a bit more like that. So I started getting rid of some of my clothes and then it got to uh, my 30th birthday. And my boyfriend, <laughs> he actually surprised me by taking me to a personal shopper for my 30th birthday, um, which was lovely, but I ended up acquiring quite a lot of extra clothes. Clothes that I wouldn't normally have bought for myself because they were more expensive than the clothes that I would normally buy. And I kind of cut the shopping bug a wee bit. Bought a 
few extra things and then it got to the start of this year and I was looking around at all my stuff again and thinking I just feel overwhelmed with all the things that I own and then there was an article that I came across and it mentioned something about this thing suffocation where people feel suffocated by their stuff and I thought that is me I feel suffocated by the amount of stuff that I have and I feel like all I do when I'm away from my work is spend all my time taking care of the stuff that I own and then that means that I'm not able to spend my free time working on my art which is the thing that I really would like to be doing with my time. So I started looking more into minimalism, reading some books about it and it got to the first day or the day before Lent and I remembered something that I'd read, I believe it was in Joshua Fields Milburn's book, Everything That Remains, where he talks about how he thought just to start with he would get rid of one thing per day and you know at the end of a month then he thought well that would be 30 less things that I own and I thought well if I do this for the whole of Lent then by the end of Lent I'll have 40 less things. So I started it that day, the first day of Lent and um, you know by the end of that I had got rid of way more than 40 things. So at this point in time I still have a lot of stuff. I would not call myself a minimalist at this point in time. And I don't think I'm ever going to get to the point where I will just have one suitcase of stuff or be one of these people that has a hundred items but I don't really feel like that's the goal for me I think some people talk about minimalism and they expect it to be that you own nothing but I see it more along the lines of just having the things that you use all the time and that add value to your life and that's the way that I view minimalism. I don't want to be surrounded by stuff that I'm not using um, and I think it's also been referred to as like a kind of reasoned minimalism and that's what I'm kind of aiming towards. So I thought I would just make this video to sort of introduce myself and talk a wee bit about how I found out about minimalism and I will let you know how I get on with trying to get rid of some of this stuff. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see some more videos like this then feel free to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!